the world needs love, sweet love. All the world needs love, sweet love, sweet all the world needs love, 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 love. Hey everyone, it's Kyra and welcome back to our channel. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this will be a tutorial on how to straighten naturally curly hair. So first we're gonna start off with freshly washed and conditioned hair. Um, I decided to use the Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner and you guys, this has definitely been my go-to lately for my straight hair because it leaves my hair so, 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 so soft. And I have really been loving it. Um, after I wash condition it, I just apply my favorite leave-in for my straight hair, which is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In. And this, you guys, has been a really, really, really wonderful leave-in for straight hair. Um, I prefer to use more of a liquidy, like very lightweight consistency leave-in for straight hair because it doesn't weigh my hair down. And the It's a Leave-In does just that. It serves as a heat protectant and makes your hair really soft and also really um, manageable to detangle. So once I've applied the leave-in in my hair, I just go ahead and detangle my hair and also part my hair into six sections and braid each of those sections up. And this just helps with not only managing my hair because I do go ahead and blow dry my hair in these sections, but it also makes my hair um, a lot easier to dry whenever I sit under my soft bonnet dryer. So once that's all done, just go ahead and sit under a dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this just helps to get rid of any excess water. So to straighten and blow dry my hair, I'll be using my absolute favorite flat iron and blow dryer, which is the Babyliss Pro um, 1 inch ultra thin straightening flat iron and the blow dryer, the matching blow dryer. And you guys, this duo here gets my hair so soft. It, Y'all, it's just amazing. I actually purchased this because this is the flat iron and blow dryer that my hairstylist used whenever she did my silk press. And my hair got bone straight whenever she did it and I got it just as straight whenever I did it. Um, to me, I think the key of, to straightening naturally curly hair is the products and the tools that you use. Sometimes, you know, if you use a cheaper um, blow dryer flat iron, you don't get the same results. So to me, the tools that you use really, really makes a difference. So as you guys can see, I'm just blow drying my hair in sections. So I just took the first section, blow dried it out with that blow dry and it's a paddle brush and then finished all the other sections. And I didn't mention earlier that I do have the blow dryer set to the low heat setting and the high temperature speed. And this combination just kind of helps me get my hair blow dried faster but with as little damage and as little heat as possible. I will also mention that one key tip to getting your hair straight um, with very little heat is to make sure that whenever you're blow drying that you get the roots as straight as possible with the blow dryer. That really, really, really helps when straightening. So now that you're all done blow drying, you're going to go ahead and part your hair into smaller sections to flat iron. Now, the smaller the section, the easier it will be to get your hair bone straight because of course, Whenever the section is thinner and smaller, um, the heat will be able to distribute a lot better and really get that bone straight look. But for this particular video, I didn't really focus on getting my hair bone straight, only because I was only gonna wear my hair straight for like four days and I was rushing to catch a flight. So I didn't really have that much time. Um, but I will say in the last, in the previous video that I recorded with my hair straight, um, the Big Chop Update video, in that video I had did a lot smaller sections and as you guys can see in that video, my hair was really, really, really straight. So it's all about preference. The smaller the section, the straighter the hair. Um, this kind of depends on what you want at the time. As you guys can see right here to straighten my hair, I am using the chasing method, which pretty much means that I'm chasing the comb with my flat iron. And you guys, this plays a huge part in getting your ends straight. I had trouble in the past with getting my ends straight because they would either stay curly or just look really frizzy looking and just really ugly. But using that thin comb to kind of guide the flat iron when straightening really helps with getting every single strand straight. Now you just keep repeating the same process until you have the whole head straight. And as you guys can see, I am only using one heat pass per section. And that is that is it, y'all. Just one heat pass per section. I will go back at the end and kind of bump the ends one more time. But again, pretty much I'm using only one heat pass. And that really helps prevent heat damage. 
So once you're all done straightening, you can go ahead and just apply a very, very light oil to your hair. Um, here I'm applying the argan oil, just a very, very small pea size, kind of running it through my hair with my fingers. And then from there, I'll go ahead and part my hair the way that I plan to wear it. Um, I just chose to do a side part for this video, so I'm just going to part my hair on the sides. And then I will take the top section um, of my hair and kind of bump the top section. Now, as you guys can see, I kind of prefer to have like the top section of my hair bumped and kind of feathered to the side. So I just use the flat iron to go through and bump it before I add in the rollers. And y'all, bumping my hair and adding the rollers really, really does help with creating volume. Um, I wrap the bottom part of my hair, but I do enjoy having some kind of volume at the top. It's kind of make it bigger and fuller and just really, really gorgeous. So once I'm done bumping my hair with the flat iron, I'm going to go ahead and just apply three big rollers to the top section of hair. And like I said earlier, this really helps with making it voluminous and kind of just adding in some, some fluff and making my hair bigger. So once I have all the rollers installed, I just go ahead and wrap the bottom portion of my hair. And I do this step every single night because this helps to make sure that my hair stays straight while I'm sleeping. So I do the rollers every night and I do the, the wrapping at the bottom every night. And I do enjoy having like the bottom part of my hair straight while the top of it is kind of curled and flowy. Um, I just like the contrast of that. So that's my personal preference. You guys can always just wrap all of it if you want to or even curl and roll all of it if you want to. It's just whatever you want to do. So that is my nighttime routine. And then of course in the morning, I just take off my scarf, take down the wrap and take out my rollers and then just comb my hair out until I get it looking the way that I want it to. And that is pretty much it, you guys. As you all can see, my nighttime routine is really, really simple and easy. And this also really helps to keep my hair looking good and straight for two weeks. As I've mentioned before, I only straighten my hair. If I straighten my hair, I only do it every two weeks. So once I've completed wash day and I've styled and straightened my hair, I will not apply heat to my hair at all again until the next two weeks. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.